Long weave to the side, cut low on the other We tie it up, we're just like one another She's got the figure, real lady And me and her could make some pretty babies Why your waist round, 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 round Shake that booty down, 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 down Why your waist round, 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 round Shake that booty down, 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 down Family, I'm Tommy. I'm Sharon. I'm Aurora. And I'm Araya, aka Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> what is up, family? Hope you guys are doing great today. Make sure you take a minute to hit the like button and also subscribe if you're not already done so. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys are doing today. How are you guys are doing? All the above. Da 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 da. You like how a little slip the da 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 da. So we woke up in the beautiful city of London again. So we're back in London. We do do regular trips here to London, as you guys know. Um, so yeah, we're here. But I ain't gonna lie, guys. I don't really have a plan. We didn't have a plan, do we? We sort of we've come to the to London sort of on business for the weekend, but not with anything too heavy to do. Um, and other with other than the content that we got to make. We haven't really come with a solid plan of what we want to do, where we want to go, so it's all a little bit up in the air, but we're here anyway. Um, we're in this pretty nice hotel room, Leonardo St. Paul's? Yeah. Near St. Paul's Cathedral, so we're, we're near a big famous landmark here. Um, we're slap bang in the centre of London. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice hotel, it's not bad. It's yeah, it's better than it's, what we expected. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you guys saw us on our last trip to London, we stayed in another Leonardo, which was not that far from here, a couple of miles less than that. Um, that was not as nice as this one. Uh, guys, my only beef with this hotel though, is this, this view, is the view is kind of weird. I kind of like it. You like it, do you? I haven't seen the atrium. So it's got this atrium, we're actually looking down into the atrium at people eating their breakfast, so we've got people getting in and out of the lifts. It doesn't feel very private to me, guys, that's the only thing, the privacy, but anyway. I'm not here to complain. We got a, we got a lovely room. It's a nice hotel. It's got a big grand lobby. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm happy, guys. We're actually going to a place that I I only just found this morning, but it looks amazing. It's called the Trap Kitchen, and it's a food place. It's kind of a little bit like DJ Khaled's uh, finger licking, where they do all the kind of lobster mac and cheese, uh, crab claw, shrimp, a lot of seafood, but with like the pasta and. It's like the Americanized take on seafood and it's called Trap Kitchen, so I'm super excited to go and eat there. So oh, oh. Gimme. Gimme. Yay! If my ride starts taking a few steps, then nothing else matters nothing for that matters. moment. We just like <laughs> Yay! It's so guys, this is our very, very, very messy bathroom. It's pretty, it's quite, it's quite nice. It's not bad. We've actually done uh, a proper room tour, which I don't know if it's going to be on this vlog or another one. Uh, to be honest, when we're, when we're recording sometimes, guys, we don't know what's going where. But we do have this mirror, which is like one of them, like make your face look big mirrors, which I think is pretty cool because you can see every little hair follicle on your face, every little pimple every little hair out of place, you can just see it. So, these are pretty dope, these mirrors. The simple things in life, eh, Rai Rai? And Rai Rai, of course, just wants to grab everything, tear the whole room apart, put things in her mouth, crawl on the wet floor, do everything that she shouldn't do. Next, she'll be touching the toilet, you wait. I, I, it would, see, what did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? That was not planned. Rai Rai, you're so predictable, bruh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash your hands now, man. <laughs> Dee -dee. Uh, you need to wash your hands because you touched the toilet seat. Yeah. But... So, yo, I am <laughs> so, weave problems. So, I've got a lace front, right? First time ever having lace front. But it's, you know, it gets to the point where it starts lifting off. And mine's at that stage now. And I don't have a scissors or anything to kind of cut it. <laughs> so, so Sharon's idea. She's trying to unscrew the blade from a pencil sharpener to cut her Bro, lace front. Look at that! Look at that! I actually got it. I got the blade from a sharpener. See? 
Don't right. do this at home, kids. Yeah, don't do this at home. I, I was about to say this is like do not. hacks here, weave hacks, but yeah. I don't recommend doing this at home. I'm not, I'm not even sure if Sharon should be doing this, to be honest. I'm, I'm going to end up around the corner of the hospital. Yeah, please don't cut your head. I don't even think I can do it. So you want to trim right back to the hairline, yeah? No, not to the hairline. There's just like a little bit just that the is hanging. Bits. Yeah, that is just hanging off, and then just not um, sticking down properly. Okay. All right. So we finally got out of the hotel room, guys. We had a little bit of uh, fussing and fighting, right, Aurora? Right. Literally. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Let's go. Aurora right, has a habit of. Um, Picking up a fuss when she wears something she don't want to wear. So I'm sorry, we're kind of mocking her, but it's just a way of making light of a kind of a stressful situation, yeah. So we is about to go and catch an Uber, right? I guess so. Yeah. Check out this hotel reception. This is a nice, nice marble. Okay, y'all, we are in the back of a London cab. You know them, the black London cabs in taxis that you see everywhere? <laughs> That's what we're in the back of right now. So, I did promise Aurora we go in a London cab. I mean, you look so impressed, Aurora. Are you excited to be in a London cab? We let Aurora stay up till midnight last night and we ended up getting a pizza, route delivered to room service, by room service, sorry, at 12 pm. So, that's why Aurora right now is not very happy, guys. She's not very Aurora. responsive. She's not very Aurora, so we apologize for Aurora. But, you know, she can't always, she's a little girl, she can't always be in the best of mood. Yes, you can. You have to be the best man for me. You have to enjoy yourself. Oh, it's better too. Why would you squeak? Um, we're like super, super early for our restaurant appointment. But we're just going to wander around an area called Camden. Which is like... How would you describe Camden? It's kind of like a... Raw, yeah, like a... Like a metal, well, metal it's, it's, it's head sort really, of... It's like just kind of a core hip. Place, yeah, but it's like it can easily mix of people. It is a mix of people, but it's very good for the like the heavy metal community, like you know the, sl the Slipknot fans and stuff. Like we can buy like band T-shirts okay. and the kind of the, the got and goth goths and that, and, that, and that's kind of stuff. Alternative, for, like, yeah, rocky sort of place. Um, I was younger, yeah. When I was when I was a teenager, I was big into punk rock, like skate punk. So. I was into kind of that sort of thing as well when I was younger. Okay guys, we've arrived. We're here in the Camden Town. Camden Town, guys. <laughs> Camden and it's super busy it's busier than what we are used to but it's a lot to see there's a lot to do we're dragging about to some weird shops around there there's some really weird like stuff going on above the shops like big like dragons and... where are we going <laughs> <laughs> You're in the vlog now. <laughs> Help punk get drunk. Oh, oh my lord. I should have given him two quid. I don't know if I've got any change. This is no, we're not helping anyone to get drunk. Well at least he's being honest, like help Well, punk get drunk. I guess so. So this is what you're gonna get when you come to Camden guys. Punk just wants to get drunk. Just <laughs> two pounds of photo look. You can't knock the hustle, can you? What hustle is that? Is that even a hustle? Two pounds of photo, yeah, he's got the skeleton tattooed on his face. You know, I respect oh. it. Uh, I don't Get drunk, guys. Ow. It's all like, uh, there's a lot of uh, bondage and uh, scary kind of 
bondage. Yeah, I don't that's supposed to have said it, bondage goth kind of shops. Aaron's got a new beanie. Are you yes. happy with your beanie? Yeah, my head top designer. was getting a bit cold. Designer for your head top. Camden, Camden designer. How much was that? Five pounds, of course. Five pounds, so, you know. Oh, and and yeah, yeah, wait, I was, I was coming to that. I was coming to that. So Aurora is looking hella cute. Look how cute Maybe, you look, bro. Let's bruh. go, guys. You like Tia and Tamara. Look how cute. Yeah, they've got the Tia and Tamara swag. And I love this hat. I might have to steal it for myself as well. No. I will. When, no. you, when you're in school, I'm going to wear it. No. Oh. Okay. So our restaurant is coming up somewhere. Uh, we are super early though, we are super, super early. So I guess Kurt and Nita are actually running a little bit late. We're... Here we are, guys. So we're going to be waiting for them for a while. The trap kitchen. It's quite quiet in there. No, that's what I'm saying. Is it really for us to know the volume? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? We just got done in the trap kitchen. Right. We're in there for literally a few hours with our friends here. We've had an amazing yes. time chatting about marriage, kind of picking up on what we spoke about the other day on you guys' platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, go watch the live again if you have Go watch the live again. Well. So what shout out the channel. channel. This is Marriage UK. Yes. So that's the Instagram yeah. and the and YouTube. everything. Same. That's everything. It, right. Yeah. This is Marriage yeah. UK. So make sure you subscribe to the guys. We've got some new friends here in London anyway. Yeah. We kind yes. of. We kind of made friends a little bit the other day on the live, and now we're here. In the flesh. We're here so in the exactly, flesh in person. Exactly. And yeah, we've been in here for hours chatting, right? Yeah, man. About... It's been nice. It's been a pleasure. I mean, yeah. this is a real couple. Yeah. You know, oh, it's real. Appreciate yeah, it, guys. Couple. And so are they. And oh, so are man. They, and also, thank you guys for splitting the bill. We split the bill, and I just realised like I had about twenty pounds worth of drinks, and you <laughs> went fifty-fifty. So it's kind of it's an imbalance good. there. It's all but good. Thank you, guys. Lovely being with you guys. Yeah. Seriously. So anytime, we're coming to Bristol. I think that's what you're doing. Anytime. Please. You guys are welcome anytime. Yeah, anytime you want to come down. Okay, so trap kitchen. What, you, what did you think? It was good. The, the mac and cheese was really good. Um, oh. What else was? What else did I have? Oh, the waffles were lovely. Where are they? The you loved it. The, I know you loved the waffles. So I had lobster. I was contemplating getting like a bucket where you get you get snow crab, you get lobster. You get prawns, you get, and do you know what? When my food come out, I really regret not getting it. Because that lobster tail was tiny. Oh, really? Yeah, it was teeth. That was tiny, no. like, it was good, but it was small. And I'm going to blame you, because Sharon's like, it's, it's cheaper just to get well, the lobster tail. Though, didn't you? I got some sides, yes. Yeah, so I was like, it wasn't like I went hungry, but there wasn't enough of the seafood. It was just like, you know how small lobster tail is? I should have gone for. I could have had snow crab claws and lobster and shrimp for an extra. Anyway, it's done now. It's done now. It was good still. Enjoyed the food. We enjoyed the company as well, guys. And uh, yeah. yeah, them drinks, they were bussing. They were like, kind of blew my head off a little bit. I had a little bit of uh, 
Sometimes when I drink alcohol, I get a bit of a rosy cheeks, and I was getting a bit of the rosy cheeks. Hopefully, Curtis and Ian like didn't think, oh, he's, he's a lot redder than he looks online. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's nice I to meet. It's nice to meet him in person. We got, I think, I feel like we got new friends now. Okay. So, I yeah, so shout. I've never met a really more down to earth couple. Yeah, they And not just saying that, but it's just. We were talking to them like we knew them forever, forever right? Yeah. yeah. And, that's, and that's the first time meeting them properly, properly. Other, than, other than on online yeah. talking. So, yeah. Nice to meet Kurt and Nita. Make sure you subscribe to their channel again. This is Marriage UK, right? Yes. This so, is Marriage UK on all of their platforms. Make sure you all subscribe to marriage. them. So we keep, Sharon thought it was an earthquake here in London, right? She felt a rumble under the ground. I know, I've never felt that before, like feeling a rumbling under the ground. No, but it, it, it took our London friends to have to explain to us, no, it's actually a train going underneath us, because there's a network of I was of like, trains. Jesus is coming! That's just how, that's how, con that's how country we are, that we don't... But yeah, we don't know what's going on. If we feel the ground shaking, we do not that's know that it's a train going underneath us because we're not used to trains normal. going underneath the streets. No, when the ground's shaking, it's normally the no. cows, the cows running, <laughs> stampeding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is with London taxi drivers, but they do not want to drop you where you want to go. They kind of normally want to drop you where it's convenient for them. So we're actually, we're staying near the St Paul's Cathedral and we are somewhere near, but I don't know. Do you know what direction we've got heading? No. We don't really know where we're going. Um, so we do find ourselves wandering aimlessly around London quite often when we're here. So we're gonna have to follow a sat nav to find out how to get there. Guys, we found the cathedral. It was right in front of us the entire time. Here it is, guys, St Paul's Cathedral. I'm hoping you can get through this way. Um, So we've had a lovely day here in London. Uh, someone was getting antsy because the Ubers kept getting cancelled. Yeah, we got we had like two Ubers cancelled on us and we're waiting outside in the cold with two kids. So I was getting a little bit mad and antsy. And I was also getting a little bit mad with the lifts as well because the lifts were... It's literally anyway. turning into his lovely I am. dad. The older I get, the more like my dad I get. I get frustrated. 100%. When things don't go smooth, I get frustrated, all right? It's it's a little flaw of mine that I need to work on. And also shout out to Kurt and Nita. It's been a lovely, even though it's only a few hours, but I literally feel like we've known them forever. Like we said, we'll put their information maybe in the description, yeah? Yeah, we'll do that? of course, yeah. yeah. But they're both there, their Instagrams, their the channel. Um, we'll try and look for Kurt on, on TikTok as well, because he does a TikTok. Oh, yeah, he does so TikTok we'll, as well, we'll give, yeah. We'll give them a shout out. So for all course. you social workers out there, go check Kurt out. He also does like sensei? social work um, videos on there as well. So it's a they're really good, solid couple, you know. They do a lot of things that we didn't even know about. So check them out. Reach out to them if you need any information or advice on relationships, because they're way more seasoned than us. And they have some solid ideas yeah they've them. been together for a long time and they've yeah. um obviously they, they they approached us they were interested in our marriage story but you know it's nice to get to hear now, their marriage story yeah, so we, as well yeah to you know from for a, a more experienced more, longer married couple yeah. than we are so, 100%. It's always, so it's always we like, can definitely learn from them can't we we've got a lot to learn babe oh, wow. we've got a lot to go a lot of learning you have you. a lot of, i'm like perfect i'm like perfect no, I'm not perfect, guys. No, no, no. My, neck I'm, I'm huh? my neck actually made the DJ scratch itself. No, <laughs> <laughs> remember that. Remember, like, exactly, that's a marriage tip. In marriage, remember, no one's perfect. There no. is no perfect marriage. No. But you find the perfect one for you. <laughs> we'll see you guys in another video. Very, very, very soon. Cheers, Cheers mate. mate.